Torah in two minutes ish. What's in a name? That question, which is a good one, comes up. What can you learn from a name? Comes up right at the beginning of what we see in the Torah this week. In Parshat Korach, the first words of it are, Vekach Korach ben Yizar ben Kachad ben Levi, and Korach, son of Yizar, son of Kothar, son of Levi, took and rebelled and rebels against Moses and starts a populist revolt. He starts what the commentators see as the, an early instance of demagoguery, which is to say, he says things that seem like they're in their interest of the people, when really they're just in the interest of himself. It seems like he's defending others. Really, he's just out it for the. Uh, he's in it for the power and for his own, uh, and and for his own interests. Why is the name of anything to do with this? Because that name, this sounds a typical biblical name, son of, son of, son of, but all the sons of cuts off right before the big one. The next person in line would have been Yaakov, Israel, the very person who the entire people is named after. If you're descended from the Israel, not just the people, but the man, you think you'd want that mentioned. He's he's the big get. So why is his name not there? Rashi, the Torah commentator, the great commentator from a thousand years ago, says it's like this. Jacob didn't want his name associated with Korach, with demagoguery, and he knew it. He was a prophet, Jacob. Doesn't matter whether or not you believe this, just roll with it. It's the story, right? Jacob on his deathbed, way back hundreds of years in terms of the Torah's timeline and like, three books in terms of the uh, in terms of the text. At the end of the book of Genesis in Genesis 49, Jacob on his deathbed says, I don't want to be associated. Don't associate my name with the descendants of Levi um, when they rise up. There's a sense of Jacob knew that this demagoguery was on the way, that this trying to say things that would seem popular but really are just about power, that that would come. And even though it might be a popular opinion to side with it, Jacob didn't want his name associated with negative causes. And that's a good lesson. Yaakov, Jacob, Israel, goes by a few names. Didn't want his name, any of those names, associated with a demagogue, some with somebody who would rise up and say things that sounded nice, but really were harmful on second look. And making sure that our names aren't associated with negative causes is as worthwhile today as it was in Yaakov's day. Thousands of years separate us, but the principle remains. Maintain a good name. Don't associate your names with things that are popular but bad. Always, always try to make sure that your name remains clean. That's part of what's in a name. Shabbat Shalom.